Something I think is strange is when some people have no problem with someone being fired or discriminated against for being a conservative or for having arguably fascist views or views that they view as bigoted. But at the same time, they make a big deal over someone being discriminated against for the opposite kind of view, like someone who advocates for dismantling patriarchy, cis-heteronormativity, and other systems that make up society. It's the notion that being discriminated against for political reasons is fine as long as it's in one direction. Now, I'm clearly not saying that anti-fascism is the same thing as fascism. They're clearly not the same thing. Supporting and promoting systems that make up society, such as Judeo-Christianity, white supremacy, patriarchy, and cis-heteronormativity, supporting those systems is clearly not the same thing as trying to dismantle those systems. It doesn't get any more opposite than that. But those beliefs should be protected, both sides. Both sides view the opposite side as horrible. But they should still be allowed to exist without people having to worry about their livelihoods being destroyed. It's bad when one side destroys people's livelihoods over their beliefs, so it should be bad when the other side does the same thing. So then I think about several years ago when there were some Trump supporters in Seattle who got pelted with eggs and a bunch of other stuff for carrying a sign that said, free hugs from a Trump supporter. It was the part of Seattle, it was the gay district of Seattle. It was right there on Broadway. In the past, I said, well, that's to be expected. They were trying to create a spectacle. And really, they, they were trying to create a spectacle, but that shouldn't mean they get treated that way. Now I consider the other side of this. If someone LGBT went to the most conservative, religious, highly populated place in the United States wearing the most outlandish, rainbow-themed costume possible, carrying a sign that said, free hugs from a drag queen, and they were to get pelted with eggs, milkshakes, sodas, and a bunch of other things, and maybe even be verbally threatened, a lot of people would declare that as a hate crime, even though this person went out of their way to create a spectacle. Now, I'm not defending any of these actions. Nobody should have that done to them. I guess an exception could be if someone was carrying around a swastika sign, but some people view a mega hat as the same thing as a swastika. Again, I'm not saying that all beliefs are equal, not by any means, but we do need to be principled in the way that we treat beliefs. The United States is supposed to be a melting pot, and many people are pushing for multiculturalism. If we're to be multicultural, we need to accept that people have different beliefs including beliefs that we find absolutely abhorrent. Just saying.